Hmm. Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> How's it going? I love the fact how uh, sometimes I can't even tell when I'm going live, you know? Just out of nowhere, it just starts broadcasting, you know? Thank you. Yeah, that's a picture with Foley. I'll get into uh, some details in just a few seconds. Let me just uh, go ahead and start tweet tweeting the uh, links out here for the people. The people's champ, The Rock. You can ask me any questions if you want. Um, meeting McFoley, what was it like, what happened, everything. What did he talk about? I'll try my best in my memory to just uh, tell you guys what he talked about. And I'm going to tell you what exactly what happened last night during the Q&A and all that. They call it the comedy show, but it's actually even him. He mentioned it before saying all your tickets says, you know, it's a comedy show. That's the ticket that's sold as. But uh, it's not really a comedy show. I love that sound. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Hey, hey PJ, hey man, hello, hey PJ, hey. <laughs> I love that one that happens right when everybody starts coming in and what time everybody's saying hey. I mean, I'm, I'm not being sarcastic, I really do love that. Because it makes me, uh, I mean, it shows it to me that uh, people are joining to, or tuning in to watch me. Mick Foley looks sexy, yeah. Uh, the weird part is, He's in South Carolina tonight. I'm not sure, but um, he's coming back to Atlanta tomorrow night. So that's so weird because South Carolina is up and Atlanta is like down here and Rome's like in the middle. Why would you do that? The booking, the way it's done. PJ, WWE 2K14 is 2K15 basically. Yeah. Six viewer hype. Come on now, just wait a few seconds. Just give it a little while. People will start tuning in. Don't you want to be my friend? The video is live up on YouTube, so I'm hoping that people are going to join in to watch me. Mm -hmm. Oh, my hometown. Huh, that's cool. Will you play online with subscribers today? Or I can do that. I mean, I'm not. I don't say no to anything. Um, crap. Cell phone has some stuff on here. Alright. What's the wrestling shirt I'm wearing today? I don't know if I have, yeah, I think I have something on the back of my shirt. It's a uh, WSM, World's Strongest Man, Mark Henry. That's what it is. Did you just make Twitch or you had one? I um, had, no, uh, I basically made this Twitch. Yeah, I just uh, started up Twitch, letting people know you know uh, at the end of last week that I have a twitch channel 
and I'm really trying my best to get a uh, partnership on here, you know, because on YouTube it's not benefiting me at all. I can't grow on YouTube for some odd reason. It, it doesn't work. But if Twitch denies me, I'll go back to freaking YouTube. So, I mean, there's that. I'm going to leave the picture up there till I start my gameplay. If you guys can, please remind me about that to take off the picture because I will probably forget it. Pizza, play the story mode, please. S I mean, if you want me to, I can go ahead and play that freaking Who Got NXT stuff because, I mean, shoot. I mean, I don't even care no more. Um, I didn't finish Who Got NXT. I didn't even play. I mean, I don't even know what it's like. All I played was Sami Zayn's. I am done pretty much with uh, Hustle, Loyalty, Respect, and um, let me show it to you. Show you what you guys really need to see. Look, I got one more match that I need to play that, that I need to put up on YouTube tomorrow. You can't see it because of Foley's picture. Here, I'll move it. There you go. See that right there? It says 18 out of 19, and uh, I've already finished Sean and uh, Triple H's. So there you go. Alright, let me. There's lots of questions here. Pizza use RVD. Yeah, play who got NXT. Yeah, I mean, if you want me to do that, I'll do that. Okay, remove the picture. There's still people that want to see the picture because there's only 27 viewers. I think when it reaches maybe around 50, I'll take it down. Or when I start the gameplay. So don't worry, I will take it down. What's your YouTube channel? Oh, there's somebody who. Somebody here who doesn't know my YouTube channel. Alright, what you need to do is um, scroll down my page and you will see a link that says YouTube and just click on it and um, it should basically take you there. It's PSN Cool PJ HQ. Don't ask me why it's PSN Cool PJ HQ, but it's PSN Cool PJ HQ. Pyro Puncher once, he's a YouTuber, he used to make fun of me. HQ for what? High quality videos? And I pretty much kept it that. Play Who Got NXT. You got it. I'll play Who Got NXT uh, because I actually want to play that. Um, I haven't even played it, you know. Do you like Twitch more for streaming, PJ? I would say this. I love streaming on Twitch better than YouTube. You would not believe how much trouble I've I've had streaming on YouTube and the interface of chat is just uh, so hard to manage and just uh, it's kind of slow too and I love talking to you guys on here it's much better I mean I love twitch as far as you know uh, just interacting with you guys I think it's one of the best things ever you know don't ask me the question of why about PSN Cool PJ HQ. <clears throat> PJ play with RVD and hit OMG. PJ, who is that behind you and Mick? Oh, uh, that's my best friend Tyler. Every time we go to a wrestling event, it's me and my friend Tyler. We go together to do something most of the times. You know, um, in my town, they're actually doing stu superstars of wrestling tonight, but I'm not even going. And um, the guy who, um, who's a promoter, he actually said that for those who have the Mick Foley tickets, you know, for those who came and, you know, saw Mick Foley tonight, you can actually use that ticket as a free admission for tomorrow night, which is tonight. And we chose not to go. We went last year. It was okay. Cody Hall was there. Um, when we are taking pictures at the forum, it's a little, you can say a little hall, um, kind of like, uh, maybe about six, uh, like probably around thousand seats, you know, you can say that, um, and, uh, Cody Hall was there, you know, they had already, you know, like a ring set up and he was warming up or, you know, just checking things out, uh, Rick Rude's son was there, he you know, cut in front of the line, and uh, I, I guess he had to talk to Mick Foley, so we saw him too. Um, I mean, most of the people don't even know him, so I mean, it's one of those things. PJ Mick Foley gang signals, 
gang signals, hey, you can do one of these universe mode story things. Um, universe mode is really not even all that. I mean, in my opinion, I've talked to you guys about universe mode and when I like to do universe mode. Um, I, I would like to do it on my own way. I don't like to do it online because I just like things to be way organized, you know. Okay. All right, all right, all right, wait. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys one of his stories. Um. Okay. I'm gonna take off his picture, by the way, just in case if I forget it, I'm gonna switch to a scene. Okay. Okay. Looks like we are back. It's loading. Um, I'm going to tell you one of his stories. It's, I'm going to tell you about his show first. Um, the Q&A was... Oh, the first things first. Okay. When he comes to a town, I think he analyzes what kind of fan base showed up. Is it all about like politics or wrestling fans? And on that perspective, he talks. You know, he doesn't talk just about, like, wrestling. Last night in our town, it was all about wrestling. Um, you know, and, I mean, most of the stuff was about WCW. I mean, most of the stuff was about WWF, then WCW, ECW. And um, it, it was really fun. Anytime somebody would ask him a question for an example. Um... Somebody asked a question about what do you got? What do you think about um, guys like Mizdow, uh, Dean Ambrose using some of your moves? Um, you know, and how has it changed the industry and stuff? And um, he would change it in a different format. The way he would answer the question, he would take you back in the time, and uh, he would tell you a story. Every time he would answer a question. He would tell you a story, which is pretty darn awesome. Um, cause every time he told a story, you were always like this, and it was funny. Um, and um, his role, you know, when he's up on the stage, he's so he's such a nice guy. Um, he would tell the parents if he sees them with the kids, he'll be like, "Okay, you need to put the hands on their ears," you know. Because I'm going to be dropping an F-bomb. And he really did that. He made a count too at the very end. Do I have Hispanic people in here? <laughs> Lita has big tits. Come on now. Alright, I'll start playing. Because I know lots of people want me to play. Uh, anyways, his the question about, you know, Dean Ambrose and the other guys using moves. How it has changed the industry. He would go back in time give a story lesson, he would complete it, and then at the end he would give a short answer. But overall, it was um, it was a lot of fun. Um, I can tell you a mini story, you know, while it's in my mind. Um, the time he cut promo, I think it was JR, you know, he, they would do a series of little promos on Monday Night Raw, and um, Vince McMahon didn't see Mick Foley as a star till that night. When uh, Foley was cutting a promo, talking about his school stuff, you know, how he was a good kisser. Uh, talking about taking worms, and he took one of the biggest one and <laughs> sucked it right in. And um, he said, a dark voice came from behind while I was cutting promo in front of JR. You know, on the TV, live. Or I think they recorded, I don't know. And uh, Vince McMahon in the back said, this is great. And, um... <laughs> That's when he knew that he was a huge, you know, hit, he had reached at that level where, you know, he thought that Vince finally thinks that he is a wrestler in WWE. I wouldn't say a superstar, but some way around the line, you know, because another story that it leads to is, uh, I don't know what exactly the questions were asked, but... Mick Foley would say, um, why did they put a mask on Mick Foley when he came to WWE, a mask, okay, to cover up that hideous face, 
and cover him up with brown color. I mean, really, that's the crappiest color that you can ever, you know, put on somebody. Uh, you know, a wrestler. He said that I looked like a UPS man. Today is not my birthday. By the way, I know lots of people are saying that today is my birthday. Alright, I'm going to start playing, but um, the reason why they covered up his face was Vince McMahon thought that he really wasn't a star, that he wouldn't meet his requirements or something like that. I can't tell you like the whole story because, you know, the way Mick would tell you stories, that's the perfect way, and I can't do that, but then again... You know, I, I would try my best. And I have some more stuff for you guys I would tell you. That's, you know, the stories that you guys have never heard. And that you would only hear at, um, you know, Mick Foley's shows. Some inside stuff, man. It's pretty darn awesome. Uh, which is why you should always attend all of these little, you know, little local shows and stuff. That um, these, you know... Retired wrestlers show up in your local town. All right, let's go back and um, let's play uh, Who Got NXT. Never uh, played um, other than Sami Zayn's. See that right there? It says completed. Adrian Neville. 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 I call him Adrian Neville. You know, that just sounds pretty fit to me. I don't care. Everybody's different. Should I answer some questions? Because I know I've been just running my... Today is not my birthday. Quit saying that. Today is not my birthday. Seriously. Save it for Groundhog's Day. Okay? Okay, I'm going to say I love Chris Benoit. He was, a good at, he was good at wrestling, but I do not forgive him. Um... And if you ask him, tell it, tell him to admit because people will only remember him for murdering his family. I like him, but I do not forget him. Okay. I mean, that, that's a totally different thing, you know. You guys want me to play as Rusev? I can play as Nabil and them play as Rusev. Lots of people are saying Rusev. Really? Rusev? Fine, I'll play as Rusev first. I mean, you asked for it. I don't care. I don't give a crap. PJ, you better not choke on any penis today. I need some water. Actually, I don't even have a audio setup. Can't hear what the game is. I'm putting audio. Hang on, let me turn on my Astros. Customer. By the way, how many of you guys watch uh, Game of Thrones? How many Game of Thrones fans are here? The HBO series. George Martin wrote the book based on uh, Song of Fire and Ice. Ice and Fire. Fire and Ice sounds better. I think that's what it is. Anyways. Rusev is the number one pedophile in the country. Believe it or not. I'll believe it. Every bit of it. Uh, let's do this. Rusev. Ooh, that was a horrible burp. You know, it's bad when you can actually smell your burp. I ate the crappiest food today, you guys. I'm telling you. Girlfriend got me this. Um, had Starbucks frappuccino. I mean, I'm on. I live. I try to live on the healthy side, but today has just been awful from the get go. Here we go. Orlando, Florida. Dead air. Dead air. How many of you guys have masturbated, you know, looking at Lana's pictures already? Of 
Bulgaria, Rusev. I'm Chris Benoit guy. Alright, let's skip this stupid intro. So actually, I should have let it play, but because they talk about the, you know, the storyline and stuff. What do you think about uh, the new day? I need to turn on subtitles if uh, somebody can remind me real quick after this. Let's skip this. Alright, here we go. Just fixing the startup, loading. Alright. Let's do this! Brock Lesnar style. Critically damaged Woods in two minutes. times you fall it's how many times you get up and now Rusev pushing forward another belly to belly he's lightly damaged already my gosh Rusev. everybody else Rusev comes in contact with just seems to anger him yeah and especially Xavier Woods seems like hopefully Woods can have better luck this go around Rusev. I've never seen Rusev do that Mm. And um, this just came up in my mind, so I figured that I would let you guys know. Mick Foley, he um, he's kind of like fans, like we are, a wrestling fan, of course, you know, most of the wrestlers are, and um. He hates it, the fact that, you know, when people bring it up to him, saying that wrestling is fake. So he went back in time and talked about his, you know, his uh, infamous match against Undertaker. Um, and he talked about, you know, three men that did it all, done it all in this business. Undertaker, Mick Foley, himself, and uh, Terry Funk. It, the way he talked about, you know, how uh, how his life changed after that match. He, he didn't actually, because everybody asked him, did it hurt? I mean, that is a very stupid question. Of course it did. Taking a huge bump like that. Um, he talks about some of the other stuff like, okay, him getting up after that huge bump that he took from the cell. <laughs> getting up and looking at. A shoe, Terry Funk's shoe, you know, on the floor, and he's like, "Hey, look at that! Flo you know, look at that shoe. Where did they come from?" Um, he thought that it was, you know, pretty ridiculous. Like, he's in a la la land. The fact that the shoe appeared just out of nowhere, and this stuff is actually in the book as well. If you're wondering, good gosh, that was a nice throw. Reward critical damage. Submit Woods with the accolade. Okay, I'm sure I can beat him up and win this match pretty soon. Alright, let's go for the uh, accolade, mate. Is that it? Oh, I was making sure I was like, where's the objective? Check mark and it finally appeared. Here is your winner, Rusev. Rusev picks up the victory. Yeah, Rusev sending a powerful message to the entire NXT. Line. What difficulty I'm playing on? That felt like it was uh easy. Rusev wins it. All right, let's go to settings. Make sure everything's okay. Where is Proving Ground video? <laughs> Proving Ground. 
Do we not have settings here? Is Guys, where's the settings? PJ, you need to turn on the subtitles. I know. I know I need to turn on the subs. But where are they? I didn't see the option. I mean, it has to be here, right? Turn on the sound volume high. Play legendary. Just imagine Lana and her legs on PS4. Oh, yeah, I know it. I don't. S Am I dumb? Do I not know what's going on here? I mean, <laughs> Peter, there is no settings. There are no options. You guys make me look like I'm freaking dumb. Pizza, there is no subtitle on who got NXT. Well, whoopity doo, pin a rose on your nose. I'll just uh, turn up the volume if you guys want me to. Um, cause I know you want that option. Just join Twitch. This is my first video I watch. Good for you, my child. All right. Just turned up the audio, so it should be, uh, actually, let me turn down my microphone. Okay, my microphone should, uh, sound better. Let's do this match. This is how you can tell they put no effort into this game for PS3. <laughs> Peter, what do you think about the rivalry between Wyatt and Ambrose? It needs to be built up in a little better way. Uh, Raw is pretty crappy right now anyways. You are being hosted by four channels. Wow, really? I didn't know that. That's awesome. Thank you guys. Um, the way you can host my channel is uh, by putting, you know, in the chat box, uh, forward slash host bar my channel name which is DJs PJ so thank you guys for doing that at 7 p.m. I have to go to another stream I'm sorry I'm cheating on you but I have a chance to win to get 15 that's fine with me you gotta do what you gotta do and I'm gonna say this another thing which I think it's very unfair Okay, guys like Tubby Moo and uh, some of the other guys, they have 2K15 for PS4. What bothers me is this, you know, and this is like for guys like us, you know, you and me. They make a release date saying 18th. I don't think anybody else should have a game early no matter what. Doesn't matter how big of a guy you know youtuber they are or whatever how they can help you promote the game or whatever you know I just think it's very unfair I mean what's the point of having a release date yes I'm jealous because of the fact that I say that I think it's very unfair it kinda makes me mad um, I mean if you really wanna be getting the game first hands be in a line just like the other people are you know don't get it early and just I just think it's very unfair because they're putting up videos and I mean look at me I mean I don't even have the game till like Tuesday but oh well Peter why are you playing the first match again I'm not playing the first match again am I playing the first match again I didn't think so am I no I'm not playing the first match again these two have gone at it multiple times here at NXT. And each time Xavier in two minutes. Yeah, this is a different matchup. Crap. And his heart to still go after Rusev after he's had his number so many times. And this ain't looking good either. Man, this game turned. Alright. Critically damaged Woods in two minutes, right? I got this. I think I can do this. He's going to the top rope. Watch oh. out. Ooh, my gosh.
Get your butt up, son. Everybody else Rusev comes in contact with just seems to anger him. Yeah, and especially Xavier Woods oh. seems like. Hopefully, Woods can have better luck this go around. What's my signature? Oh no. No, wait, nice reversal. My gosh. Oh. One vicious neck breaker. Oh, the punch connects. Oh. I think I know what the signature is. It popped up. Oh wait. Ah, I could have done it. Ooh, nice kick. I don't think I'll be able to do it, but I'm gonna try my best. Oh, there you go. Submit Woods to the accolade. Oh, I could have done this, but um, I think yeah, he he broke out. Okay. You have to wonder if there's anybody on the roster that can stop Rusev. Well, by the looks of things now, it certainly doesn't How's the game audio, by the way? Is it better than uh, the last matchup? It should be. But at this point, he may be risking long-term or even permanent damage if he continues to get in the ring with Rusev. Ouch. He does it again. Okay. I think uh, I'm going to... Oh, he's measuring... <laughs> There we go. Nice kick. All right, I have to do that same finisher. I want to see some of his maneuvers, actually. All right, let's make him submit. It looks like I'm masturbating on the camera. PJ, do you even remember this match? Nope, sure don't. PJ, Kofi Kingston is your second match. I think you are playing the first match, though, so because you had to damage him in two minutes. Here is your winner, Rusev. Really? Rusev picks up the victory. Is this really the first match? This one's over. You've got to be joking. Let's see. Hang on. Oh yeah! I did play the first match twice. Well, you got an encore. How about that? Now this one's critically damaged Kofi in five minutes. Avoid moderate damage. <laughs> I like how everybody's blaming me. Then there's one comment that says "Toxy Weenie." You know, sup, PJ? How's it going? At least someone cares about me. We told you. Hey, watch your freaking mouth. Don't make me ban you. That's messed up, man. That's messed up. See how it is. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the ravishing Russian. Dead ass. Dead ass, though. Okay. We might now. What? What is Kofi wearing? Is that what he wore? Kills all day. That baby blue color. Did you see my GMP videos? I don't know honestly what you're talking about, mate. WWE fan got like seven timeouts already and you didn't ban him and you'd ban him for that. No, I mean I wouldn't ban him for that. I was just joking anyways. But I have made clear to WWE fan that he cannot be spamming and I guess he understands that which is why he hasn't done it yet. Kofi looks weird. Okay. Lightly damaged already. My gosh, you think, uh, freaking, uh, Rusev is overpowered? Can you imagine Rusev and Lana having sex? He puts him into the accolade and, ha you know, plunges his penis. 
inside her. What does Lana see in Rusev? I mean, aren't they dating? Is that right? Am I right or am I right? Oh, good gosh. Great offense by Kofi Kingston. Kofi Kingston making a move. Golly, man. Come on. Get up. What's the first video we, you guys would like to see uh, from the next gen? Honestly, like, I want to be able to post uh, 60 frame per second video content. So at least you guys can see what's happening. Because I know there's like some of the YouTubers, they're not even posting 60 frames per second videos. I mean, it takes a lot out of your computer. But I want to be able to show my subscribers that, you know, hey, this is how different it is. Um, you know. I wonder if I can stream 60 frames per second content. Um, I know for the fact that um, some of my subscribers, you guys, might have some trouble streaming it. Because some of you guys probably don't have a, a good connection to hold that. And I totally understand that too. I may try it once, but if it doesn't work, then I'll give it up and I'll just keep streaming 30 frames per second. I mean, really, it's the earth of a difference, you guys. Like, 30 versus um, 60 is just unbelievable. No joke. What was that? Oh, for a second I was like, that looks weird. Was I able to complete? Okay. I was just making sure. The mid Kingston with the accolade. Fixing two. There we go. I hope he doesn't get a rope break. And he's done. He's done. Peter, you should create yourself for the first uh, video using Superstar Studio. And I will. Because, um, matter of fact, where is that box? Actually, I got to do something real quick. Here is your winner, I got a Bruce PlayStation Bruce camera Bruce today. A um, PlayStation Bruce camera, Bruce you know, uh, I got it because of that Bruce Superstar Bruce Studio. Bruce I heard, um, you know, that... Superstar Studio has a feature where it can analyze your face and uh, basically have your face on the Superstar. And uh, I mean, that's what the Superstar Studio video shows up on YouTube. And it's going to be freaking awesome. That's why I got that camera for one main big reason. I was like, I want to be able to do that. And I'll do it live stream if you guys want me to. It, hang on, I'm trying to do something real quick. Um... But yeah, um, what I want to do is this. Hang on. I'll be right back. I want to know if they can analyze this thing. They all look like ghosts from Modern Warfare 2. There you go. What do you guys think about this? Huh? Thought it only took PC pictures. <laughs> no, I mean, it's supposed to be working with your camera. Really? It only takes pictures? I did GF. I can take pictures. What if you're able to use your PS4 camera? I don't know. If you use that, it will make a terrifying face. <laughs> you have to use your face. What if I do this? Let me put this up. It was me, damn it! It was me, oh, oh Austin! Peter, you look sexy.
you can use your PS4 camera. I figured you could, I don't know, we'll see. Rey Mysterio, the next um, matchup. OMG, that bod. Oh, man. All right. I'll be the next Fargo Devitt. Yeah, it's uh, not the same scan as NBA. Oh, okay. So it's not the same feature as what you do in the other 2K games, or should I say the NBA feature that they have, um, or the feature that they have in NBA 2K15, I'm saying. Um, I'm fine with the picture, I guess. Ray Monsieur got buried, moderately damaged Ray's legs in three minutes. Okay. It also said, uh, avoid 619 in case you guys didn't notice. I'm skipping this. How did you Ravishing Lana! PJ is like Lesnar in 2002. You guys, I need to bring my belt. Oh my gosh. How many of you guys. Actually, I asked you guys a question earlier. How many of you guys watch Game of Thrones? How many of you guys watch Game of Thrones? And how many of you guys have um, replica belts? Raise your hands. Not raise your hands, but post comments saying, yes, I do. GOT, I do belts. I, I fell in love with Game of Thrones this past year, you guys. It is so amazing. This is my reaction. <laughs> Are you playing my career on Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, I want to play new content. You know, I'm ready to play. I just, uh, have you seen the WWE Raw DVD after show? It's really good. Got some good laughs in it. Yeah, uh, I have that DVD and it's uh, pretty darn awesome. Yeah, but they're fake ones. It's all about Walking Dead. I have replica belt. I wish I had a belt. I have three belts. I have uh, the World Heavyweight Championship, the undisputed title that Brock won in 2002 from The Rock. And a uh, WWE title, the spinner belt. I have to damage Ray's legs? Crap, what is that going to take? Guys, um. Crap, I'm going to try. We'll see. I have to put Ray down first. Come on, Ray. Stay down. There we go. Oh crap, reversal. Really, bro? I really have to get this going. Got two minutes left. Crap, no. Over here. Here we go. Right. Ah, keeps reversing, man. Makes me mad. Oh, another reversal. This is this could be tough. And here's Rey Mysterio. <laughs> All those asking me to uh, damage moderately, but he won't freaking let me. That's the whole point. And now he's all the way to the other side. Crap! There's not enough space. Come on. There's another great kick. What? He reverses that? Come on, bro. They broke the mold when they created Rusev. Yeah, they sure did. And I'm willing to bet Rusev will break it. Come on, do it, man. Do it. Namely, Rey Mysterio's leg. Well, that will certainly be one way to grab the high flyer, Rey Mysterio. You know, Cole, I've noticed that Rusev's been using his feet a lot more in recent weeks. He's not just a high impact superstar uh, we've come accustomed to seeing. You know, it's not your typical kicks you get from a high flyer like Rey Mysterio. Come on, throw him down already. My gosh, it's so close. Stopping them until they can't get up. Yeah, it's. 
I'm maybe close. I'm not sure. Take a look at the limb damage. Yeah, close. Almost. Man. Oh my god. I'm gonna fail. Crap, he reversed a ton. And I failed. I'm gonna restart the match, you guys. Alright, I'm gonna attack him right away. This is absolutely David versus what is the best way to do it? I mean, I didn't start damaging his legs till like the second minute, you know? I'm talking about, you know, after one minute. Come on! He was right there. Why didn't go for the legs? This type of stuff, man, makes me mad. How some of the grapples uh, they just don't work. Things don't connect swiftly. 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 That was a reversal, by the way. Not belly to belly suplex over and over again on purpose. I'm on fire, baby. Come on. I tried two different directional sticks, but he would go for. Let's put him down with the signature. Good job. All right. Yeah, I know. I tell myself, good job, right? And you can hear the fans willing him onward. Could have done a finisher, but no. My finisher will be uh, effective on his legs, right? I'm gonna go ahead do this finisher instead. He needs to be slowed down. Although he can use a comeback. Well, never mind. I don't think he can. Oh, he's getting up. Oh, man, come on. Man, oh, not bad. Every move takes like freaking 10 seconds out of. Oh, I need reverse. I wonder if I have to do accolade. Go for the limb damage. Here, wait. Ah, oh, he reversed it. Look. Oh, there you go. Man, please. That was really close. Holy thingamajig. Alright, let's do this. Come on. Rope break? You to the freak, oh kid. Rope break. Oh crap. For a second, I thought he had me on the ropes for a uh, 619. But fail. What? Oh, there you go. I don't know. It feels like it glitches sometimes. Need to get a uh, signature or something. No, not again. Ray Mysterio making a move. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Rusev finding a path of destruction currently. You guys hate me, I know that for the fact, because I keep doing the belly to belly suplex, but trust me, one of the best ways to win a match. Crap, never mind. He may be uh, proving me wrong. Proving ground, Ebola. And a German suplex. Alright, man. 
grab his body in the middle somewhere where he can't reach the ropes. I hit the drag system. Man, it makes me feel like I just want to take the freaking chair and just smash the creator of that, you know, who thought that that's the best way to drag the person in the ring, you know? I mean, it takes such a long time, you know? It makes me mad. Ah, oh, for freak's sake. Hey, TX. Hey, what's going on? Matthew Daimani from Twitter. How's it going? Need some water. Contest to win two, get 15. Drag is better in next gen. Really? Is it different? Um, I didn't watch a whole lot of videos, so like, I don't know. Okay. Final match with uh, Dolph Ziggler. Let me read some comments. PJ, don't know if he answered this question. When you get your PS4 version, will you continue to stream on Elgato or through t PS4 Twitch? Okay. Alright. So I thought about this last week. Um, about this problem because, alright, currently I stream through Elgato. My PS4 is connected wirelessly. I can, in my power, I can use a hard wire and connect it on a PS4 to do that. But, um, for some odd reason, my, uh, dude, my connection is hands down it gets like, um, let's say, for instance, 80 or 90 megs down and 23 upload on my desktop, which is hardwire connected, okay? Even with PS4's um, hardwire, on PS4, it won't let me, you know, get a really good connection. For some odd reason, I don't know why, I have opened up my ports and everything. I have done lots of things to make my ps4 get that maximum juice you know for the internet but it won't let me do it because of that i'm gonna do i'm gonna do twitch through my elgato and not choose to do live stream on twitch from ps4 i can try i can try at least one time and um my printer is making weird noises but um it's one of those things that I, I don't know. I, I don't think that my uh, connection is strong enough on PS4. Somebody asked me to turn down the uh, audio. PJ, will you be playing online? Are you asking me to play online on 2K15 on PS4? Yeah. I'll do everything. Um, <laughs> PJ, my video for Universe Mode, which is only one hour. Okay, WWE fan. You can go now if you want to. Turn the stream low. What do you mean stream low? Are you guys asking me to uh, turn on the audio for the game audio? Specifically? Let me go ahead and do that. Turn it down just a little bit. Okay. If you live near New York, go to NYC, find a store, and get the game now. Actually, he's delaying the stream for a few minutes. <sighs> wow. Have you seen ECW Exposed? I have not. I need to. No, Peter, what I meant was that if you're going to play online today during the stream... PS4 quality too low, still good. What do you mean? I don't understand what you're saying. Are you telling me even on low quality it looks good on Twitch? If I do it through PS4? I don't even know what it's going to look like. I can 
um, run a minor test, not do like a stream for you guys, but just to run a random test at any time on a different game, I can do that because, you know, I don't have a WWE game yet on PS4. A private message a streamer who has a next gen version already. He said there are stores in NYC who are selling it now. Oh, really? You're really not supposed to. You get in trouble. Is this your last match today, PJ? No, -uh. I'm uh, I plan on to play for a little while. Probably maybe about thirty or forty minutes more for sure. What are you gonna do? What? Are you going to name your person on my career? Um, I am going to name um Abdullah the Butcher. Just kidding. Hey, Pikachu Axu, what's going on? One of my um followers that I actually know him, you know, because I see him every day. Hmm. I have 78 uh, viewers. That's pretty awesome. For those who are new, um, if you're just now tuning in to my channel, um, thank you guys for watching me. I would uh, take my time to, or I mean, I won't. I won't take a whole lot of time, but um, I would try to tell you guys a little story about Mick Foley. What he, you know, said uh, yesterday about. Um, Vince McMahon. Remember the time when uh, Shasta had a matchup? I don't know what pay per view exactly it was. It was Mick Foley doing a commentary. Uh, the their plan was to bring in Mick Foley for the commentary, but then again, um, Foley would try to say things. You know, I think um, over the headset he mentioned saying, "Look at the eyes of Batista and Shawn is filled with hatred. Uh, there's all the hate coming out." Then he went on saying, "Hate." For the third or maybe a fourth time. And then Vince McMahon came on the headset on Mick Foley. He was like, alright, enough of that effing hate. Stop it, damn it. And <laughs> Foley went and looked at J.R. or Lawler at that time. And he was like, he was shocked at the fact that he was so rude with the Mick Foley on the headset. Now this is, you know, around what year 2004 I would say or um 2003. I'm not sure what year exactly. But um then um something with the irony. I don't know exactly what was the whole story next night. Uh so this was on a paper read next night fully um was driving the car. He had um uh, his son sitting in the back seat. But he took his lovely time to call him. Um, and the funny thing is he called him during Raw. He knew better that he wasn't going to answer. But guess what? Vince McMahon answered the phone during Raw. He answered the phone saying, Yes? Foley said, you know, out of the respect that, you know, what do you think about, you know, what happened last night? He basically asked him. I don't know exactly the whole thing, you know, what he said. But I wish I could tell you guys story in a better way. But um, Vince McMahon was basically putting over Mick Foley for a few minutes. I mean, he apologized, you know. He said that's one of those things that he just uh, thought that hate wasn't the right word to say. But then again, he was like, you know, he apologized. He said he was really pissed off and he was really mad at what was happening last night. He had lot of things going on at the pay-per-view um so the following night Tuesday night tapings for Smackdown Foley was there announcing and um don't know what exactly what happened um and this is a part I would of course I would forget Foley said something the thing ended with Vince getting on the headset getting mad at Mick Foley once again and this time Vince was the one that said I think hate you Mick Foley because I don't know something happened I wish I could tell you guys story in a better way but it's one of those things um there Mick Foley stories are you have to hear it 
Vince, I'm tired of seeing Vladimir Putin. We're here and you are here. Let's do this. All right. We're going to play this matchup. Not going to waste any time. Kyle Lorch asked me a question. What is going on, PJ? I'm just um, telling some Mick Foley stories. Mick's an awesome guy. Last night at the uh, autograph signings, you know, Mick was spending time with the kids, you know, the younger fans. He would make them sit down right next to them and um, ask him questions. Hey, anything you want? You know, I would do, you know, hey, anything you want to say? Anything you want to ask? He would spend the you know the time with um his fans anything i mean he is um totally different than any of the superstars that i have ever met pj for president um he said lots of things about al snow lots of uh funny things cuz you know Al's, you know, one of his best friends, so, hey, it doesn't even have anything to do with we want head thing, you know, I actually have fun with that thing, I've been telling Betsy about that, that, you know, look at the gimmicks, you know, back in the day, Attitude Era, Pimpin' Ain't Easy, Godfather, Val Venus, who's porn star, Gangrel, who's a vampire, um, Undertaker, who's a satanic, you know, what do I have to explain about the Undertaker? I mean, you already know it. Then we have Vince McMahon and the corporate, D Generation X. I mean, it was totally just a different side of all of these superstars. And that's what I try to tell people, you know. See, back in the day, everything was so, it, it was so crazy. You know, they were desperate, and that's why they had to take things in a different way. And, uh, I mean, it's not the same anymore. That's why it bothers me so much. They know for the fact, you know, p people are not going to watch the product. They're not going to subscribe to WWE Network. How the heck are they trying to gain all the subscribers when they know for the fact that people don't tune in to watch their regular pay-per-view anyways? They're trying to gain all the Attitude Era fans or the people who... You know, watched pay-per-view back in the day when it was in upper, higher numbers, you know? They're not going to do that. I mean, yeah, granted the fact that you can go back and watch every single thing or, you know, s some of the cool stuff. But it's not going to work. Things have changed. It's not the same anymore. But... I don't care. I mean, I'll still pay $9.99 for, uh, you know, their subscription just because I can. I can do it. I mean, if he asked me, yeah, I mean, I'll watch WWE regularly. Or if I don't, I would keep up with it. Uh, and then, from time to time, I would watch their pay-per-views for sure, which only cost $9.99 because of that. Rob Ziggler with a super kick. All right, let's do, um, let's try to do some uh, technical stuff here. What's that ugly ass sign in the background? My gosh, that didn't look nothing like Ziggler. Uh, Ziggler, freaking can't even talk. I need some water. Oh crap! Uh, let's restart this match. Didn't realize the fact that uh, I got lightly damaged, or I have to avoid being lightly damaged. I have to be really, really careful. But let's not mess around, okay? Oh, crap. This ain't good. Right off the bat, he's going up on me. My gosh. You've got to be joking, dude. Okay. My gosh. Amazing clothesline. <clears throat> Alright. Oh crap, that was a reversal. I was like, what is going on here? <clears throat> oh. Oh. 
Man, I have to be really careful. What the freak am I doing? I'm not Kurt Angle. <laughs> Man, please. Okay. Almost very close or kind of sorta getting uh, a signature. Okay. All right. This is it. As soon as he gets up, he's done. Ah. Oh. Oh. oh no. Reversal. Okay. Come on, baby girl. Come on. What? He's about to. Ah, man, come on. This ain't good. What? So my super kick is that signature, right? When Rusev is in signature, move state, run towards Ziggler, and press Y. Yeah, but. The United States in the street time, and it's a stand up comic. For the Frick, get the freak out of the way, ref! Pissing me off, dude! Ah, Makes me mad. Gosh darn it, dude. For freak's sake. The great part for Rusev here is that he has nothing to lose and everything to gain by being I'm gonna the kick his butt Ziggler. this time. Says the guy who goes up on top rope within three seconds of the game. On the flip side though, I don't think Rusev will be content with just being in the ring with Ziggler. He wants to win. Oh man. What? Freaking neck breaker. Reversal. Okay. German suplex. All right. What? That was supposed to be reversal. What? Dude, I swear, dude, this match has turned into a legendary difficulty. Come on, stay down. Okay. Taunt. Taunt. Okay. Alright. Go up on top rope. See what I can do here. Gonna wait on him. Things just got serious. You got Oh my gosh. What did he do? He reversed it. <sighs> too late? What the frick do you mean too late? Oh my god. Oh!
The great part for Rusev here is that he has nothing to lose and everything to gain by being in the ring with Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, Pick that bitch. From here. That's what happens when you step into the ring with a multi-time oh. world heavyweight champion. On the flip side, though, I don't think Rusev will be content with just being in the ring with Ziggler. He wants to win. Two. Dolph Ziggler turns it around. Rusev oh, yeah? Reverses. Don't jump me. Huh? This run. Legitimate chance against Dolph Ziggler, an opponent has to try to take away his leg. I mean, if you can work a leg to slow him down and keep him out of the air, an opposing WWE superstar could have a chance. Hey. Oh, and stay the heck away from the zigzag. Ah, uh, man, what is the reversal rate for Ziggler? Is it like freaking ninety something? Dude, he just. Oh my gosh, that should have been a double clothesline. Okay. Dude, oh my gosh. This ain't looking good. What? He, I swear he is reversing every single move. Oh, not that taunt. Not that taunt. Oh, I got away with it. Oh, no. Another taunt. Another. Okay. Okay. Yes! Oh. It ain't over yet. He's got my finisher. You know, one of the things that people don't know about Dolph Ziggler is that he brings his charisma and stage presence to the world of comedy. That's right. Ziggler travels the United States in his free time and is a stand up comic. I'm going to just like keep spamming him. I mean, that's the only way. There's no way. I mean, I have to in order to win this match. He almost had a zigzag. All right, all right. Let's uh, grab his body in the middle somewhere. Okay. Do this. Oh, no! Freaking another. Another freaking reversal dude uh that's a bad idea but I, hey that worked too okay he's about to get up man i am so close to be getting lightly damaged my last chance it's now or never. Do this, Rusev. Please. Oh my gosh! Third finisher! That was my third finisher! No way! I mean, this is so stupid. Why is he reversing all my finishers? The great part for Rusev here is that he has nothing to lose and everything to gain by being in the ring with Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, if this happens again, I am done with this game. Don't ask me to play no more freaking Who Got NXT. And I've already started out bad, anyways. 
You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna keep spamming him. I don't give a crap. You wanna make this game look stupid as it is already anyways? Let it be then. This is gonna be quick. I know this for sure. Look, really close to uh, getting a signature, and I'm hoping he doesn't reverse that because I'll be pretty ticked. Oh. Okay, okay. Referee, stay the freak out of the way. Yes. Is it possible? Hey, the lock is in. Oh. Okay. Okay. One more chance. One more chance. Oh no. Man. doing a little grandstanding here. Oh, holy mother of convenience stores. Never ceases to amaze me. You know, I'm such a big... I mean, I don't even know what to do right now at this point. Should I even continue? Am I making my, myself look like stupid? I mean, what is this, dude? Don't tell me to believe. I'll tell you what I should believe. I'm going to have a freaking chocolate. Yeah, there's no crying in any WWE games. Lure him out of the ring, then attack him when he's la- Ah, uh, I don't think that works well. I'm uh, a little sweaty right now. Okay. Give it a shot. Again. Okay. Calm down. You got this. Part for Rusev here is that he has nothing to lose and everything to gain by being in the ring with Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, Rusev can only go up from here. That's what happens when you step into the ring with a multiple time world heavyweight champion. On the flip side, though, I don't think Rusev will be content with just being in the ring with Ziggler. He wants to win. That elbow did some damage. Rusev reverses it. Oh! Rusev digging down deep. You know, to have a legitimate Ziggler, I hope your mother dies, you fucking cunt. Take away his leg. I mean, if you can work a leg to slow him down and keep him out of the air, an opposing WWE superstar. I'll take that back. That was so mean. I really didn't mean it. You know, if I'm Dolph Ziggler, I'm so sorry. I hope you die in the game, though.
Oops. Man, man, this Dolph Ziggler is not a guy I want to go on a long car trip with. Say from here to the ring. Oh, come on. If you're going to make okay. Name for yourself, okay. This is the game. Okay. Do it again. Okay. Yeah, but if it was me, I wouldn't give Dolph what? Ziggler a chance to Why did you stop? Such a douche. Whoa, who stops in the middle of the ring? Come on, get up. Oh my! Such a no! douche! Oh my gosh! You can't even pick me up in real life. Where's the freaking weight detection when you need it? Oh, ahead. My gosh. Didn't see that coming. No, Cole. Ziggler definitely doesn't take a backseat to anyone when it comes to athleticism, showmanship, and five star performances within those ropes. But if someone is oh. reminding, he'll gladly volunteer to refresh their memory on how he backs up everything he says and then some. Hey! He's the one yes! And that one hit with the force of a big rig. No, he's too close to the ropes. If you're going to make a name for yourself, this is the guy to do it again. Yeah, but if it was me, I wouldn't give Dolph Ziggler a chance to breathe. I'd be He's red. It looks like Rusev agrees with you, Kane. So is his vagina. One more try. One more try. I got this. The obsession is real. You better believe that. Take that punch, you bitch. Cunt muncher. Dude, close to getting a uh, signature already. Never mind. Whoop de do. Okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Erection is real. Hurt him. At least hurt him. 
Alright, I broke... I broke it on purpose. If I didn't do that, he would have put me down. Okay, okay. Just keep spamming. You got this, man. You got this. I got this. I got this. Halfway through, almost, with the, uh... Hey! No famous! He How did he get a finisher? How is that possible? <laughs> You're not pinning me. Goes for a cover. <sighs> Makes me mad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be King. Why did you why did you trip? Come on. Drag his body. In the middle. In the middle. Bring him. Bring him. Bring him. Okay. Eklund. Look at this. Okay. And there's the submission. This might be Come on! Make him tap! Make him tap! Dude, I'm fixing to be lightly damaged. Maybe one more shot and I'm done. Ooh, Come on. Going on here. Please, please, I need this. Man, I am never, and I mean ever, coming back, coming back to 2K Showcase again. Or, uh, whatever the heck this is. I would do it. Makes me so mad. Oh. I'm not playing it. I'm I'm just I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. This calls for more chocolate. You know?
I mean, I'm literally, I think I'm, I know I'm sweating. I mean, I can feel the heat. One more try. One more try. And that's it. I, w I won't get mad. I'm going to play this. I mean, and gentlemen, it's just one of those things. What were they thinking? Oh, we're going to make, you know, Ziggler reverse every single move. I mean, come on. You know. The great part for Rusev here is that he has nothing to lose and everything to gain. By being in the ring with Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, Rusev can only go up from here. That's what happens when you step into the ring with a multiple-time world heavyweight champion. On the flip side, though, I don't think Rusev will be content with just being in the ring with Ziggler. He wants to win. Rusev fighting Look, all I have to do is... Currently. A super kick to his face, right? Make him tap out, but in order to do that... I gotta make sure his body's damaged pretty good bit. He's already got a freaking advantage on me. Right there. The great part for Rusev here is that he has nothing to lose and everything to gain by being in the ring with Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, Rusev can only go up from here. That's what happens when you step into the ring with a multiple time world heavyweight champion. On the flip side though, I don't think Rusev will be content with just being in the ring with Ziggler. He wants to win. You hear how his leg connected? It's like playing worse than ever now. I was better off spamming. Oh, well, there you go. That time, that shoulder worked. I just can't get over what we saw. That was so great. You know, if I'm Dom Ziggler, I'm not sure I'm locking up with Rusev. The weight disadvantage is incredible. Ziggler is giving up about 100 pounds to Rusev, but let's not forget that Dom's an accomplished WWE superstar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He's just so destructive inside that ring. The show off Dom Ziggler. Is famous for his incredible athletic gifts and cutting interview skills. Ziggler enjoyed. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go crazy. I mean, I can't play this match no more. I mean, this is so stupid. What were they thinking? God, the freaking. Oh! I can't even get mad. Like, I really think that they're stupid enough to make this stupid game. To make it look stupid enough to make me look stupid that think that you guys are stupid. You know? I'm done. I think I've had <clears throat> enough for today, you guys. My uh, pride is hurt today. It's...
and you guys asked me to go take a look at the settings whether if the game was hard or easy now that we all know they all make the fourth match look really hard right PJ are you getting GTA 5 for PS4 I don't know uh. I mean, I don't know. It this game is chocolate helps PJ. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know. It's I'm out of my words. That's all I can say. Just I don't know. I don't know. PJ, check your Twitter notifications. Well, what's going on on my Twitter notifications? What is going on? <laughs> my picture, huh? Somebody asked me two hours ago whether if I'm playing with my subscribers or not. You honestly think that's going to make me look better? Where's Betsy? She is watching freaking Georgian Auburn game or whatever the heck. It is today, tonight. I don't get what's going on. Jay Barker, if you're just now joining, just take away the last hour of my hard work into this showcase. One more shot. One more shot. I think I got this. One more shot. I won't be mad. If I lose, I lose. It's whatever. I'll do it in my off time. I'll try to finish this match without live stream. But I just want to. I mean, it's. I did so well before this match that I recently played that I lost in a very stupid manner. I didn't keep up with it right in the beginning. I don't know, man. It's just, you have to really pin him down since the be beginning of, oh my god. Talk about spam. He had spammed me. Look! What are you doing? Fuck Rusev, fuck Ziggler, fuck Vladimir Putin. I'm done. Make me mad. I'm done, you guys. I am. I'm done. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I am. Yeah, this is going up on YouTube. I'm going to export this video, probably. Thank you guys for watching this lovely stream. Guys, this is no joke, man. Um, I'm going to try this again, but this is going to be off stream. I'll let you guys know tomorrow, okay? Till then, let's just uh, cross our fingers.
I can't believe you guys, whoever gave me this opinion to do this, who got NXT, play with Rusev. No wonder freaking why you wanted me to play as freaking Rusev, because I have to beat freaking Dolph freaking freaking phenomenal freaking intensive reversal uh, Ziggler. I'm done. Uh, no, no, there's no uh, another time. Play one more time. Somebody just asked me to play one more time. Red Standard. No, I'm not playing one more time. I'm done. I'm going to do this stream tomorrow. Uh, probably around the same time. I'll tweet it to you guys. Let you guys know. Um, I don't know. I may not. I may do. You know, I try to stream. You know. Almost every day, but if I'm busy tomorrow then I can't so just just watch my videos tomorrow okay I'm done I'm out of here thank you guys for watching this video is going up on YouTube when it does like it up and just highlight all the content from it with numbers okay thank you guys for watching and don't ask me to do no more who got NXT stuff especially with Rusev Okay.